get that shit, bro. We gon' see. We gon' see. We get that shit, bro. I think this will be a fit. I looked, I heard it, but I didn't look up like you did. You broke your. Yo, I'm gonna go and say something, man. Yo, what it do, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Fish Vaughn, tapping back in with another video. And look, I recently just turned in my scat pack. For those who don't know, I had a scat pack with red seats at a sunroof and stuff. I just traded it in because of a little situation that I had got into, right? Basically, my car was hot, you know what I'm saying? Like, and what I mean by that is, like, police was like really just targeting my car for some reason. It was like they damn near wanted that car for real. And uh, because of that, I recently just got arrested and everything. Like, what the fuck? I recently just got arrested and everything. I was in there for like 48 hours. Um, you know, it wasn't scary or nothing like that. It was just boring as hell. I'm gonna be honest with you. It was boring as hell up in there and that shit just was not it. Once I got out and stuff, they told my car I had to pay that little fine. Um, when I got out, I basically like two days, three days later, I went to a dealership and tried to get a new car. You get what I'm saying? And I was looking at that 2021 uh, Hellcat, but they was just asking for way too much down and then the, the note was crazy. So I was just like, nah, I ain't finna do that. I ended up being there for five, hours bro i was with my boy jay at the time and they just would not let me leave and they ended up working out a deal but it wasn't with the car that i really wanted you know what i'm saying it was with a another scat pack but it was just a year a year better it was a 2021 i had a 2020 scat pack you feel me my 2020 scat pack with red seats in the sunroof damn it looked like a 2021 you know how dodge teslas you know how these damn car companies get bro they don't really change much yearly or nothing so as of right now i'm about to go pick up my boy mike you about to head to the dealership and i'm basically gonna go try to look at this hellcat um i kind of yeah <laughs> i don't know why i got that scat bag i didn't i'm gonna show you guys the car and what i did to it so far i only had it for about a week and a half now i only had it for like a week and a half so yeah, I'm about to go talk to these people at the dealership and uh, hopefully we can work out a deal or something, bro. I don't want the scat no more. I feel like I'm kind of used to it. The money that I dropped down on my first scat, I felt like I should have put it down on the Hellcat in the first place, but those who don't know, I been I was scared. You feel me? I would have probably told the Hellcat by now if I didn't have a scat pack. You know what I'm saying? If I would have just hopped straight into the little Hellcat, I think I would have wrecked by now. So that's the reason why I didn't get a Hellcat at first. I didn't have some, <laughs> some crazy moments in that car where I had to take it to the shop, you feel me, put it on a flatbed and whatnot. The adrenaline that I had was just, <laughs> it was too much. Like every time you just wanna do some crazy stuff. So I just felt like the Hellcat was just way too much horsepower for the street. That's why I didn't get that car at first. But I think I'm ready for it now. So I don't want the scat right now. Hopefully I can get this Hellcat. And cross my fingers. Y'all like the video. Hopefully, I do get the hell okay. Y'all stay tuned, watch the whole video, man. I'm gonna catch you guys when I'm there. So, as you guys can tell, I don't got the red guts. I don't got the sunroof. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna do a lot to this car, bro. Hopefully, I can get this hell okay. And hopefully, my camera doesn't die because I got like two whatchamacallits left. And my charger for my battery is with this person. She needed the little charger, so I gave it to her. I tried to text her today and ask her, like, you feel me? Are you at the house? Like, can I pick it up? She was like, I'm not at the house right now, so. I gotta pick it up later. So if my camera dies, of course, I'm gonna pull out the phone. I hope it doesn't die, man. I, I got all my windows tinted in this car, though. I don't know if y'all get chill. This shit is dark as hell. And then I cut off the muffler and the resonator. So basically, it just sound like this. Sound more aggressive, in my opinion. It sounds way more aggressive. I don't know, though. I, I could be wrong. To me, it just sounds more aggressive. But when I'm downshifting and stuff, Right, right. I ain't even finna talk right now. I know y'all tired of the damn uh, seatbelt noise and stuff, so I'm gonna catch you guys a little bit later. Why you pull up at one in the morning and sit on the edge of the bed? What the fuck? Why did you pull up at 
one in the morning to sit at the edge of the bed, nigga. What? Hey, I ain't gonna lie though. I always been a fan of Tony Wood, bro. I'm be so rude with you. Like, I ain't even on no bandwagon shit. I always been. Ever since No Hard Drop, you can ask my niggas. I was high school. With. <laughs> 2016, I think that's when that song dropped, bro. I was, <laughs> why these nigga trapping so hard? <laughs> why they got a tug on your ride? Nigga, stop playing, bro. Oh, shit. This nigga got the camera. <laughs> you know, I got a vlog. I got to show on the way real quick. Hopefully, I can get this car, bro. Alright, that cat is crazy. Dude. You get that shit, bro. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. get that shit, bro. I'm about to I'll do some crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I basically tinted the windows. And then I had to dig this. <sighs> That's what I did. We're about to turn it back in. That shit slap, bro. I ain't that shit slap. That shit slap, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. That boy, uh, 21, was sliding like. I'm about to play that shit, bro. That nigga 21 came back. Huh? I said that nigga 21 came back. Tight. He tight shit. Oh, you know, whenever you on a Drake song, though, you gotta slide. Oh, and God, it's like a, it's an album with both of them, so they most definitely did their shit. <laughs> Back to the house with Craig Grady's papers and stuff. Hopefully, I haven't even showed you guys the car yet. For me, I ain't trying to get you guys' hopes up, but I did tell you what kind of car I was looking at. But I hate getting my hopes up myself, you know what I'm saying? But hopefully, we can finalize this little process and uh, being a, a, a new whip today. But we're gonna see. Right now, we're just headed back to my crib right now. I gotta grab these papers, like I said, and I'm probably gonna grab something to eat. This boy hungry, you know Mike. Nigga love to eat. Man, that boy Mike be eating. <laughs> us skinny niggas, you feel me? Y'all y'all be thinking us skinny niggas, we skinny. But nah, bro, we really eat like a fat person. Well, I do. I can speak for myself when I, I say that. Do, sure. You be eating like fat. Yeah, That's yeah. what I'm saying. I know the meat ain't on our bodies. The meat, I mean, all the food and shit going somewhere else. You feel me? So, yeah, just keep that in mind. Yeah, it's going somewhere. It just ain't on my my bones yet. You feel me? I gotta hit the gym for all of that. This rap is ugly. I'm black is hideous. You can't be looking back like that, nigga. Be, Why? I'm black, nigga. I'm gonna look back to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Nah, but the girl that's helping me out at the dealership, bro, she cool as hell. Like. It was my first time seeing her and like actually meeting her and stuff like that, but she cool as hell. She's funny as fuck, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, if I would have got half of the stuff that she said on camera, bro, it would have been crazy. Like, this girl was talking about, uh, yeah, I caught the other dealership and I told them he was my, I was his girlfriend. I'm like, what? Me and Mikey, me and Mikey paused. Like, <laughs> we was just be like, what the fuck? Her girlfriend is crazy, but. She, she trying to she trying to get the deal done and stuff like that. She doing her job, so. Yeah, she want to the deal. Yeah, I don't got it. <laughs> she want a package. That boy Mikey said she want the package. She, she want, want more package. than the deal. She want a ring too. <laughs> man. <laughs> she tripping. Shit. But we gonna see what's up, man. Hopefully I can get it done. Y'all like the video? I'm gonna catch you guys when we out. Right, man. I'm already doing this niggas with a big eye help. I do it. I do uh, what, it. What'd you want? What'd you want? No, in my mind, I was like, this nigga finna pick I have. Low-key, I, like, I was, but I ain't gonna lie. I was, that I was, was the only really thing. I was like, yeah, he finna pick I have. But what were you Ooh. thinking about? Because I was at the dealership, I was finna say, I have. <laughs> oh, I God. Was, I was low-key thinking about uh, Lolo chicken and waffles, too, though. I mean, shit, it don't matter to me. I ain't talking to you. I ain't anything. Lolo chicken and waffles, I have. Which was closer? Once again, yes, but we're about to go back to the dealership after this little food. I had to grab on something because I ain't eat all day. So I'm gonna catch you guys after we're done with this little meal. This pancake is good as hell. I said, what? I said, hungry ass. This shit is gonna be good as hell. I can just tell the butter. You feel me? He said, I could just tell the butter. The butter is just melting. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. This shit is melting. 
This is what I'm talking about, bro. I don't know if y'all can see them, but in this damn 392 is a whole bunch of old heads, bro. They get these cars and don't even and don't, don't even, even be using yeah, them. don't even be like using it to its fullest potential, bro. That shit crazy. But, but as good as him. Man, IHOP never fails. But we just had some IHOP about to slide back to this little dealership real quick. See if we can work out this deal. They probably hit the mall or something, do something later tonight. Oh my god, cause it is a Friday. Niggas ain't got shit to do no more. Man, this boy Mikey finally got time on his hands. <laughs> Quit that motherfucking job. <laughs> Fuck that shit. You wanna tell him what happened? What? Hey, are, are you want to tell them like the pros of the I'll let you talk to them. Go ahead. Shit, basically, so what's today? It's Friday. It's yeah, Friday. So I had work Wednesday, right? Niggas went up there, did did my full 10 hours. But I was just thinking in my head, I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm finna just quit this shit. And I was, I was like gonna get fired anyways because I had negative 10 hours, but I just wanted to quit because maybe if I want to go back, you feel me? I gotta, I can go back. But I just quit, I moved out. And I'm finna just do YouTube fully, to be honest. And shit. I feel like I feel like this is gonna be our year. 2023? We're gonna lock in this year for oh, sure. For I ain't gonna sure. say this our year because uh, damn near every year our year, but I'm gonna lock in this year for sure. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. lock in for surely. Cause this shit gonna be something nuts. Y'all gonna be here to see that shit too. Mike, you really finna be consistent with this shit. Yeah, I mean I was consistent for you like know, a month. Yeah, and it comes like to be honest with this YouTube stuff, bro, you gotta sacrifice a lot, bro. Sacrifice. I'm doing that shit right now, too. Like, this nigga's damn near going through it with his mom right now. You feel me? Just to Just go the this. route that he wants to go. And like I said, like, the older generation, they don't really understand, like, what we're doing. Okay. But, but it's money in this, you know what I'm saying? But they don't understand that, so. It's That's like, you're not always gonna have your family to support. You're always not gonna have yo, your closest friends to support. It's just like you, you kind of got to do it on your own. You got to make your own decisions. The only ones you really got to support is y'all niggas, to be honest. Y'all the only ones that really truly support us like that. Facts, facts. That's why we do this shit. Yo, that's big facts, bro. I'm not going to even lie to you. I don't really care what nobody else got to say. I don't care about nobody else's opinions but yours. Oh, God. You feel me? Y'all opinions mean the most. But yeah, it's about to be a journey, man. Y'all stay tuned. Like the video. Like We're going to catch y'all later, man. Y'all see, we're at the mall right now. The deal didn't end up happening. The dude damn near tried to give me two cars. Yeah, my ass said, get that motherfucker. Man, so. That motherfucker. Nah, yeah, his eyes lit up when he said that, you feel me? I'm like, hell no, nah. I'm not doing that. He thought he was about to drive the scat pack to the <laughs> So it didn't fall through, bro. I'm about to go in here and go look around. I'm probably not gonna buy nothing, but uh, if y'all made it this far, that means you enjoyed the video, so like the video. Mikey just dropped the video, bro. Oh yeah, I did. How many views is it at right now? Hey, hey, he dropped the video, right? And just started laughing. I'm like, bro, what is funny, bro? I said a 98, bro. Said what? 98. I said, you wanna know what the ranking is? What? Eight out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're doing later tonight. This camera's about to die, though, so. Well, let everybody go, like, 30 seconds. Hey, I know yours is faster, bro. It's okay. I know yours. I feel I'll it, I feel you it. Wait your video. Nah, nah, you good, bro. <laughs> what is that? Isn't that like a V10? Yeah. Is it V10? V10, supercharged. Oh, yeah, that's nice, man. That's nice. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. It's your boy up here? Yeah. Oh, what's up, Dylan? First time at SEMA. You said what again? First time at SEMA. Oh, okay, okay. It's a car show? Yeah. The biggest car show ever. Right now? Friday was the last day.
should be so fun, bro. This this be the best shit ever, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Damn, it's cold as fuck, boy. All that wind was blowing up in my face. He got some like red and blue lights too under his car, so it's like flashing behind me. Imagine if that was an undercover cop, that would've been crazy. Damn, fuck. That would've been crazy. You better find Cause I heard a story of this dude, he was racing, right? Uh, uh, a car lined up with him, instantly turned on his lights. On some crazy shit. Where they went though. He did tell me to let all the cars go too. I don't know why the fuck I was doing all of that. Probably did. But Joe was just having fun and shit. Oh god, I was. I he wasn't even thinking. I wasn't even thinking. Probably so I was just trying to get going. <laughs> y'all hear them pops, bro. Don't play. Bro, let me show y'all what them pops sound like. I mean, like you might want to just keep this one for a little bit. Keep it for a little bit. Yeah. Got my phone with it. Yeah. Fuck the hell, can't for right now. I'm just having no fun with this one. The police are like, well, Corvette, Corvette. Is that car right there? That car was from Atlanta? Yeah, now that car was just behind me for hella long. I know how it is with this car stuck, bro. This stuck be fun. I gotta show Mikey how to do the little paddle shift things. I'm sorry. I don't know how to use them. He don't know how to use them here. Oh, Jesus. Once I get that shit done, I think we're gonna be having fun. Yeah, I'm gonna be having fun for sure. Where my man's at, man? Where the nigga with the V10? <laughs> I don't see no police lights behind me. Man, it was a car show out here, though. I had seen a Hellcat the other day. And boy, the rap on it was nice as hell. He was like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm coming out here for the car show or whatever. Car show. <laughs> car show. He was like, yeah, SEMA or some shit. Hey, y'all comment down below. Should I turn these lights red like the old scat pack or should I just leave them like this? Y'all comment down below. Let me know. I did the mufflers, the resonator delete. I got the side light tint. Uh, what else? Tinted my windshield and stuff. What else y'all think I should do? Oh, the diffuser. Y'all did tell me about the diffuser. I was already going to plan on doing that. I got to order that. So, so yeah, that's going to be on the way for sure. They said put the diffuser on it. It's going to look Means. So I'm most definitely gonna do that for sure. You good? <clears throat> we chilling right now. Right now we just kind of vibing right now. They in the back doing whatever. Oh shit! I can't come. Oh, here we go. This nigga. Bro, Mikey be so horny when he drunk, bro. Nah, 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 nah. nah. I saw that shit, nigga. I said, oh, time to walk back out. Nah, you know you wanted to stay there. Mikey be the funniest when you later, bro. But we vibing right now, bro. We just chilling. It's like three of them back there and shit. Bro, this the night, really, bro. Today, we've been out all day since like 10 in the morning, bro. We ain't been inside and rested not once. <laughs> Come on, man. How are we skip on our phone? Go get your phone. Okay, tell me you got it. Come on. Hey. Y'all just ordered a hella shit from Sheen, bro. I don't know where y'all be shopping at for y'all shirts because I can never find them at the store. I'm from this. I went on Sheen and just bought hella shit. Y'all see, I got that shit on. Do I got that shit on? I got that shit on, though, bro. I put on this little shirt. I ordered this little. I don't even know what this is. Like a little sweatshirt. For me, if I throw on some forces, y'all think this will be a fit? Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. I'm going to take some flicks today. Y'all feel me? Y'all go show me some love on Instagram at official underscore runner. Let me know if this is a fit or not, bro. Y'all comment down below, too, if this is a fit or not. I'm about to slide to the little mall real quick. I feel like I got to throw in different jeans, don't you think? Different jeans? Okay, shit. Uh, yeah, probably. And I honestly don't even know if this sweatshirt is supposed to be, like, oversized or undersized, bro. Like, I don't know. I got a large, but I feel like I should have got, like, an extra large or something. I don't know. It feel good, though, but I just feel like... It's your heart. That shit's the tough. design, I feel like the design. The design is tough as shit. I just don't... I need some fucking off white fours, bro. <laughs> for real, for real. I need pink as well. I had this one to Volcano. Volcano girl. Oh, fuck. I just stubbed my toe, bro. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 
I think I stepped on my shoe or something. I had just went to the volcano grill though, bro. I had busted shit down. Yeah. Nigga, now me that shit good. What'd you eat? Nah, what'd you eat last night? Not in and out. I'm talking about you didn't eat that food that you're. Oh no, I did. We you did. Nigga, I ain't gonna lie. Bro, as soon as you dropped me off, though, I ate that shit, bro. I was still hungry, bro. We was out last night, bro. And uh, I had ate some, what I eat, what I eat. I went to Five Guys. And I was like, Mike, you don't want nothing, bro? Like, when you drink, you're going to get hungry. He started drinking yesterday. He was like, uh-oh. <laughs> before we started drinking, bro, I said, I said, I'm hungry I'm like, this guy, bro. I told this man to eat yesterday, bro. He did not want to eat when I told him to eat, bro. I was fine, though, when we were sitting just chilling. You trying to get uh, booed up this morning? What? You trying to get booed up this morning? Bro, no? What? No female? Maybe so. Look who calling me, bro. Speaking of winner. <laughs> I just bought two shirts. They was on sale or whatnot, so I just grabbed them real quick. I just seen a dude that was a supporter of me taller than me. I ain't never, <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't never seen that before, bro. For my first time. <laughs> this dude was like seven feet, but he said he was six ten. He he just stopped like midway. I was like, this dude knows me for sure. He was like, bro, I was just watching your videos yesterday, and uh, he, I guess he played basketball. You know, six ten, you gotta play something. <laughs> he, he was a cool dude. I ended up giving him my number and stuff because he he said he actually has a game. Tomorrow, I don't even know if y'all can see me, but yeah, he got a game tomorrow, so I'm gonna pull up to his game, show him some love since he showed me some love in person. So, I mean, if y'all see me in person, don't be afraid to say hi, say something. You know, just thinking of a bite, man. Don't be afraid to say something. That's what I'm saying. First time being on me, it's chill as hell, man. I remember that, business. Nah, for real, for real. I just do that shoe palette, he was working. <laughs> God. He just walked in. But yeah, nah, we're gonna go to this basketball game tomorrow. I'll probably vlog some of that. But right now, we're about to head to Caesars Palace's Culture Kings. Actually, just opened today. And what's crazy about that is I just ordered this little sweater from Culture Kings. Yeah, that's crazy. But they got a grand opening today, so we're about to slide to that. Strip right now, blocked off. Whole bunch of people on the strip right now. So I'm gonna try to get some footage in for you guys. We got a 20 minute walk to Culture Kings, bro, because it's so because <laughs> it's so packed on the strip and then it's blocked off right here. You can't even go down this. So we're about to just walk. Ooh. And I ain't gonna lie, I feel that shit. That's how hot it is. I swear to God, I feel that. So they got fire on this side, they got water down there. <laughs> Man. This is more trippy, huh? Walk the strip for a little bit. Oh shit! <laughs> He's gonna be tripping. At first, he thought God was talking to him in this morning. Cause you looked up too. Don't do that. No, shit. I looked. I looked. I you heard him, but I didn't look up like you did. You broke your whole neck, bro. <laughs> this boy tripping. Oh, I know these show girls be cold, bro. I know they do. They just be walking around here. Ass neck. They feel good out here though. So I'm over here contemplating. Should I get deep fried Oreos? Or should I get a full of melody? Okay. Goose new dog got a little bit of hot dog here. Gin and juice ketchup. Pink cube barbecue sauce. 
I'll try that. Can you make me tissue? Hell yeah. Think so? I'm gonna give me a glizzy though. I ain't gonna lie. No. I'm gonna. I might give me the lote. Put the corn on it. Also, I just get a regular chili dog. No, the cup, the cup is good, bro. The cup. Hey, yo, I gotta teach Mikey my way. <laughs> hey, look, Mikey was not gonna walk down on this female unless I told him to. You feel me? Bro, nigga, Mikey real like pussy, bro, no, but it's okay bro, though. Bro, bro. It's okay. Nigga, I'm not an outgoing person. I'm like dead ass. So you antisocial? Yeah, no, not antisocial. I'm just not. I'm just not outgoing. You feel me? I got my own food. So basically, right now where we're at, basically where we're at right now is the resort room, and we can't get in no clubs. Y'all know why? Y'all know why? And this nigga think that shit's so funny. So we just basically walking around here like we fucking younger than twenty one, bro. Because this nigga, I just said that we're walking around here basically like we younger than twenty one. Well, I'm I'm basically walking around here, looking like I'm younger than 21. But long story short, he hopped down on a female, cause I said something. He wasn't gonna do it unless I said something. Bro, cause that's how you was there, like, bro, she was this bro. Listen, we I asked this girl. I was like, you gotta be 21 to come in here, huh? She was like, yep, you do. This nigga turned around just smiling at the bit for hella long. I'm like, nigga, go say something to her. And then we walked to the escalator, and the girl was looking still. I'm like, bro, you real like pussy if you don't go say something. And I went. So you gotta basically tell this nigga pussy. You gotta call him pussy in order him to do, in order for him to do something. But basically, this is what it's looking like, bro. Resort bro. We here with some vibes, but like I said, we can't go in because this thing not 21. Basically. I know, bro. There's vibes everywhere, and they going inside the club. They going inside the club. You know they here for one thing and one thing only. Oh, pink girl. Hey, pink. Nah, we gonna. Hey, I'm hopping down on there. I ain't gonna lie to you. They want to eat? Damn. Fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Who? <laughs> Who'd you get loud for, bro? Bro, you Ooh. Black bro, this nigga doing all that screaming, <laughs> bro. Get the fuck. Talking about, the woman bro, we gonna have to listen. The club is right there. They got clubs all around this bro. I don't even know where the pink. Where did the pink? You said they went to go eat. Hey, so I'm over here gambling, right? I'm gonna fuck around and say something to her next to her nigga, bro. She bad in the face and everything. I ain't never. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all can see that motherfucker. She about to go in there, too. <laughs> she know what she's doing, bro. Look at him at her. Oh. Oh my! Look, he gonna put his arm around. <laughs> 